Here's New York District Attorney Alvin Brett. Earlier this afternoon, Donald Trump was arraigned on a New York Supreme Court indictment returned by a Manhattan grand jury on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. Under New York State law, it is a felony to falsify business records with intent to defraud and an intent to conceal another crime. That is exactly what this case is about. 34 false statements made to cover up other crimes. These are felony crimes in New York State, no matter who you are. We cannot and will not normalize serious criminal conduct. Why did Donald Trump repeatedly make these false statements? The evidence will show that he did so to cover up crimes relating to the 2016 election. Donald Trump, executives at the publishing company American Media Incorporated, Mr. Cohen and others agreed in 2015 to a catch and kill scheme. That is a scheme to buy and suppress negative information to help Mr. Trump's chance of winning the election. As part of this scheme, Donald Trump and others made three payments to people who claimed to have negative information about Mr. Trump. To make these payments, they set up shell companies, and they made yet more false statements, including, for example, an AMI, American Media Incorporated's business records. So wire fraud and money laundering as well? people they paid to keep quiet was a woman named Stormy Daniels. Less than two weeks before the presidential election, Michael Cohen wired $130,000 to Stormy Daniels' lawyer. That payment was to hide damaging information from the voting public. The participant scheme was illegal. The scheme violated New York election law, which makes it a crime to conspire to promote a candidacy by unlawful means. The $130,000 wire payment exceeded the federal campaign contribution cap. And the false statements in AMI's books violated New York law. District Attorney Alvin Bragg speaking today, explaining the nature of the case, the nature of this 34-count felony indictment against former President Donald Trump. Now, the indictment itself is bare bones. It lays out in just the facts, ma'am, list style, each of the 34 felony counts that Trump is facing for um, a, a allegedly falsifying business records. Each one of those 34 counts gets about a paragraph. Each paragraph has just about the same information in it. Uh, the statement of facts, however, that accompanies that bare bones indictment, that spells things out more like a movie script. Uh, but somewhere in between is this. And this breaks it down not like a list and not like a movie script, but more like a TikTok instructional video about making weird food using things that don't at first glance seem edible. <laughs> uh, the prosecutor had three big pro uh, posters, excuse me, uh, posters behind him at his press conference today, laying it all out in hard to miss terms in case you are a pictorial learner. Uh, this is one of those three posters, and, and you can see the headline there at the top, Catch and Kill Scheme to Influence the 2016 Election. And as it shows in very simple terms, the allegation from the prosecutors here is that this Catch and Kill Scheme was hatched in August 2015 at a meeting at Trump Tower. You'll remember that Trump announced his candidacy for president in June 2015, a few weeks later in August 2015. According to prosecutors, he met at Trump Tower with Michael Cohen, his lawyer, and the embarrassingly named David Pecker, the head of a company uh, that owns the National Enquirer supermarket tabloid. Because I'm eight years old, I can't say Pecker without laughing, and so I have to come up with weird euphemisms it's and sentence, sentence structure to avoid saying it more than it's one day. It's an objectively it's funny amazing, name. It's an amazing part of the story. I apologize. I <laughs> Sometimes 
Thank <laughs> you.